Okay everybody, John Ferguson here. Uh, wanted to do this video for, for quite some time, been kind of contemplating on, on when I should put it out there, when I wanted to, to kind of uh, start this off. And for the next 365 days, I'm uh, going on a quest. Some of you that don't know me as well, um, uh, probably understand the last, I guess, four years of my life, I've been kind of drifting. Uh, if you, you want to call it that, just finished a great book, uh, Outwitting the Devil, uh, by Napoleon Hill and Sharon Lecter. If you haven't had a chance to read that book, absolutely phenomenal. You, you've got to check it out. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, you know, really wanted to, to kind of reach out to everybody, uh, all my friends, everyone that we're working with, uh, just because, you know, life is so short. I've had a, a few experiences of, of late uh, that has really kind of hit, hit home. Um, with that, um, some some mentors and some very very close friends uh, passed away recently, and you know really kind of put into perspective uh, our lives. And reading uh, that book, uh, Winning the Devil, really kind of hit home um, to me in, in in a lot of my life and what uh, what I had gone through and had been going through since I would have to say about two thousand and six. You know, a lot of you know that I had uh, some success in real estate investing, some su success in, in businesses, um, in some multi-level marketing, as well as direct sales. Um, got out of that industry for a little while and uh, ended up uh, in uh, telemarketing. Uh, learned that business very well, worked with some fantastic companies, Rich Dad Education, um, Whitney uh, Education Group. Um, uh, I've worked for some, some very fine and worked with some very fantastic marketers uh, in that industry and learned a great trade. Started a business in 2009 um, uh, that was, uh, again, a telemarketing uh, firm that handled uh, some clients. Those of you who uh, uh, you know, know me, um, we started Wealth Safari and started to, to service clients and did very, very well uh, all of 2000 and uh, the end of 2009 is when we really started. And then through 2010. Uh, was a you know a really good year, <clears throat> um, uh, up until uh, I'd have to say September uh, <laughs> uh, or August, September, Novemberish, started to kind of really um, take a downturn. We didn't know what was going on, uh, didn't understand it, um, and it, like in life, sometimes you, you don't have control over certain situations. We slipped on the ice. Um, we uh, ended up in, uh, gosh, November of 2010, really looking at the, the prospect of not having a business. Um, the, the client we were serving was no longer going to be uh, issuing um, leads and, and, and continue as a company as, as, as they were. So we, we looked into some other things. Um, but all throughout that four years, from 2006 to 2010, um, really felt that I was drifting, um, you know, and going through life and... And doing had great successes, had failures, trying to learn from it all. Um, really got away from my purpose, and I got derailed in 2006 from my, what I thought was a great engine for me to live out my life's purpose um, and really help people. Uh, that's one of the biggest things that uh, I enjoy doing. But from that experience, I've been on this four-year roller coaster. Um, I don't know if any of you guys can relate to that, ever been laid off. Um, a little bit of a different experience for me because I've gone up and down with businesses and trends and um, just a just fun, wild ride. Um, have found a lot of success this last year and have been, you know, really, really happy. And, it, it, you know, but I let it change me. In 2006, um, when that happened, and I got on the call floor circuit and, and you know, if you've ever been in that world, any you phone jockeys out there know it's probably not the, the most rewarding of environments. Um, and, uh, you know, you, you've got to pick and choose your battles and, and obviously your friends and who you, you associate with. But I changed a little bit. I mean, in here, you know, I, I uh, those of you who knew me, know me, I like to have fun. I, I'm an excited guy. I, I like to, to get out and, and enjoy life. But I felt that kind of go on the downturn. I mean, I just... I think it was that I was just wasn't following my purpose, and I wasn't doing what what I know I should have been doing, and just kind of let back. I, I, of recent, I've been able to help a lot of people, um, and this changed my purpose. This really helped me change and and develop and grow um, as a person and as an entrepreneur, and really in finding my purpose again and, and realizing that you know it wasn't that one vehicle that was helping me obtain my purpose in life. But it, it, it's my purpose, and you know, you you have to to stay on track with your purpose, and the results of the vehicles to get there um, 
change sometimes, and you have to be ready for that. And I wasn't. Uh, but now, I uh, have had a, a lot of success of late, been working with uh, some business owners with uh, uh, their businesses and marketing. Uh, I'm taking on a couple of new projects, and I'm starting a new team. Uh, we're, we're building a phenomenal business. Um, it's, I, I can't believe how awesome uh, this is, what we're doing, and just the reactions of people that I've talked to already of what we're doing. Um, my goal right now is to build a fantastic dream team the ultimate mastermind of, uh, of entrepreneurs and people who want to succeed in life and, and really kind of impart my wisdom of the past 10 years of, of direct sales and, and, and business ownership and my successes and my failures and the things that I've done to, to maintain um, you know, that, that freedom, that freedom that uh, we all want to enjoy, that time with our kids. You might even hear my kids in the background screaming, playing upstairs. But that's okay. You know, that's what, what I get for, for working at home. My office is just a few steps downstairs, and, and I enjoy that. And, and, and I always have, and I always will. So, guys, that's me. Uh, on the next, you know, the next 365 days, you're going to watch me. Um, most people probably won't even turn into these videos. Uh, they're going to be a little lengthy, maybe. Um, you, you may like what I have to say. You may not. But I'm going on this journey. You're welcome to watch. You're welcome to come along with me. Um, you know, this is just me. And uh, I'm going to put it all out there, and uh, we're going to make some amazing things happen uh, in the lives of people that, uh, that we touch and in the, the lives of people around us. So, again, thanks uh, for, uh, you know, taking the time and, and checking out the video and, and uh, you know, being a friend. You know, it hasn't been, it been easy uh, being a friend of John Fergus in the last little while. Um, for some of you it has, some of you it hasn't. So, um, you know. Uh, life is life, and, and I'm excited to uh, to be around uh, great people now and, and uh, really, really enjoy following my purpose and getting right back into the game. So, again, guys, um, thanks again, and uh, keep watching. We're going to make some amazing things happen. You have to stick to your purpose, it's always, no matter what. If, if anything you guys can get out of this and in, in the next year of, of, of watching this, maintain your purpose and learn how to follow your dreams. Pick up that book. Pick up that book, Outwitting the Devil, Sharon Lecter, and Napoleon Hill.